Hello everyone, it's Bryce with the Reiki Place and Shelly and Mike with Inner Compass Reiki. We are so excited today because we're going to take a few minutes to talk with you about our presentations at the online International Reiki Retreat sponsored by ICRT this year. For those who don't know, ICRT is the International Center for Reiki Training. So Shelly and Mike, thank you guys for joining me for a few minutes today. I can't fun. wait to talk about it. Yeah, it's great. fun. It's fun. Just like the Reiki retreat is fun. Absolutely. I, I miss that we're right. going to be in person, but I'm hoping to be able to give those in-person hugs next year. Yeah, us too. So share with me what you guys are going to be talking about this year. Sure. So um, we're going to be talking about Reiki and relationships. We've talked about it a couple of times, but it's always, there's, it's always evolving. So this year, <laughs> we're going to talk about our, our move during COVID and what uh, happened to make us decide to sell our home and move to Oregon. So it ought to be fun, interesting. You'll hear her side, then you hear the real side from me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I like the perspectives. You know, you get yeah, to hear her perspectives. Exactly. Yeah, girl, you know. Well, and truly with this, I don't even know that I want to say post-COVID world. I don't like the term new normal. It just is. It's what we have now. But I think that hearing perspectives and how Reiki can help and talking about relationships because their relationships can be very different for people right now. And I am fascinated to hear what you're going to talk about, uh, especially to the point that you pick up and move that to me is, uh, you know, obviously I know you guys outside of this world too, but just when y'all told me, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're moving. I couldn't believe it. And uh, it takes a lot of courage, truthfully. So I'm you know, excited to hear your take on how that is all going to, uh, what all transpired and how it's going and, and how Reiki has helped through that. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited. We're excited to be there. It all yeah. started with painting one bedroom. Yeah, that's the clue. Really? Yeah. She said, let's paint a bedroom. And I said, no, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> and guess what? Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, so maybe that's a warning for people not to paint a room? Either I, that I, or be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Get a, hang a, on. Yeah. There it's going to be a wild ride. Could be. Yeah. We're doing but, that here. We put new floors in. We turned a room into a closet. Now I want to do the master bathroom remodel. So I, I can see how it. It can happen. And I'm like, my husband's like, no, we're not selling our house. And I'm thinking, <laughs> uh-uh, I have this cool new closet. We're not moving. <laughs> well, we, we had a little bit of that too. Yeah, we had a lot of that. She says, we're going to move. I said, no, we're not. I guess I lost again. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about compromise, right? It is about compromise. And, and we had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, we sent a lot of Reiki, talked to Reiki a lot. What are we doing? What should we do? Where I'm should driving, we go? I'm driving a truck with a whole bunch of stuff in it to Depot Bay, Oregon from San Ramon, California. I'm driving up I-5 and I'm going like, what just happened? <laughs> you know, and I'm driving this truck and all by myself, I'm going to unload it too. So um, I had to make two trips. That's a different story all in itself, but <laughs> can't give away the whole thing. You know, then we wouldn't have anything to talk about. Right, exactly. So I, I'm excited to see because I, I love when you guys present. Um, it, it's very natural as I listen to the two of you. And it's also very authentic. You don't put stuff on um, just because there's an audience. It's really like you're just sitting there chatting like we're having coffee with the camera buyers. And that's yeah, one of the things you. that I, I really love about listening to y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we, you know, we're still doing coffee with the camera Myers. It's um, almost weekly um, meeting with people and just kind of, we we do Reiki, but we also are just um, spending time with people getting, um, getting them, helping them get through all of this. So everybody's welcome to join that too. 
I love it. And at the end of our video or, or possibly even through our wonderful social media team, we'll be putting our website addresses out there for anyone who's viewing. So don't worry about that. We're not giving anything to you. It's all going to be written for you at the end. So no worries. Just enjoy the round wide of um, listening to us chat for a few minutes. Yeah. So I'm, um, I'm excited to be talking about a topic that's near and dear to my heart in a weird way, but it's Reiki and chronic conditions. What I have found in my own practice in the last several years, Reiki has just been amazing for helping people with chronic conditions, life-threatening conditions, and even those people who have gotten a, a diagnosis death sentence um, is what I call them. And, and that included me in 2017. So I am um, going to be sharing some of my own personal story through metastatic breast cancer, uh, but how Reiki has really helped um, talking about you know, different studies that have even been done, information with the Center for Reiki Research, but just how we as practitioners can support those we care about or those that may be our clients or even people within our community who are really struggling with um, chronic condition um, or disease management. The cool part about what I'm doing is I'm putting my, my mindset spin on everything these days. So in addition to talking about just how we can support them with Reiki, I'm also going to be talking about putting mindset into that as well. So that in addition to just doing a Reiki session with someone, we can help them come up with very powerful new decisions that we're gonna help them manage moment by moment or day by day, and then sprinkle that with some Reiki on top and really help them achieve phenomenal results. And what I'm noticing in my practice now, since I've started doing that with clients, we're just seeing results that have just taken off to a whole new level. So I'm really excited to share how that, uh, bringing that energy in about the power of the mind and, and truly reprogramming our mind will help with that. So I am, uh, I'm excited to see where it's gonna go and, and not over planning because I think, I think sometimes our best talks just come as we organically start chatting and we see where they take us. And then I want to share, I'm going to look up, um, I am going to give you guys this website, but we'll share it too. It's ReikiRetreat.online. ReikiRetreat.online. And that is where you can go and you can see a list of all the presenters and you can register. So the retreat this year runs over um, Labor Day weekend. So September 3rd through September 6th. We also have awesome music that I love so much from Pam and Don McMahon. Uh, Barbara Pasty starts our mornings with Shake Your Soul. And I remember thinking, how much fun could I have shaking my soul on a Zoom call? But she really does a good job. And does. it's awesome. It's a great way, I think, to start connecting with yourself at the beginning of the day and begin to get yourself in a great, um, a great mind space and in a great place to be just in, um, in beginning um, for each day of the retreat. Um, William Rand, ICRT's founder, William's gonna be talking about Reiki for an evolving world. And I always love when William talks because he has so much information from all of his world travels and the people that he meets. And he's so generous at sharing really cool information with people. So I love reading the articles he does in Reiki News, but since coronavirus is such a big thing for everybody, um, I'm really curious to see what William's gonna talk about as to how we've seen Reiki evolve. You know, we know just even from last year with Holy Fire Reiki, you know, we now can do things online that we couldn't before. And that, that was a huge evolution um, with Reiki. So I, I'm curious to see how he's gonna talk about it. We're also going to talk about animal Reiki, a huge thing again. Um, coronavirus has not just affected humans. Animals are deeply affected as well. Um, animals who live with us, they sense our stress, our fears, our anxiety. They begin to get stressed. So I think it's great that we'll be able to hear and learn more about how animal Reiki can support both the animals who live with us, as well as those animals that might be out in the oceans or in other hardship places in the world. An interesting one I think will be done with several of our ICRT fellow teachers is called Empowered by the Holy Fire Lights. 
And I know that that actually happened when uh, six teachers went to um, a kind of an informal retreat in Hawaii at William's home. And as they began to do some Reiki work, this new thing came through for them and they call them the Holy Fire Lights. So I'm excited to have them share with us what that's gonna be about. I think for quite a while now, Michael Baird and Arthur Baird have shared with us about sound healing and how sound healing works with Reiki. And Shelly and Mike, I would love if y'all would talk about that because you've taken that class and that you class teach is, it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we do teach it. But when we and we learn from Michael and uh, Arthur. And the the thing that I that I probably was the most profound for me from learning that class was that I have always felt like I had no rhythm and yeah, um, I found it and oh. uh, and I I found like it doesn't it, there there is no like being in beat with anybody else it really is listening to your own inner thoughts and your own inner guidance and allowing that energy to come through and whatever you feel is how you beat the drum and it's fascinating and you use the drums with um, you draw symbols on the drums with the uh, drumstick and you beat it and the vibration that you feel is amazing um, we tend to do that if we when we can do in-person classes we do that um, the second morning of class if people want to come a little bit early we we don't know we don't have time during the regular time but we'll meet people early and and have uh, a drumming session and everybody just loves that so and whether it's online or whether it's in person this will be an amazing uh, presentation with michael and arthur Absolutely. I, I got a buffalo drum that I created several years ago, and I use that in, in sessions as well. And clients are always just amazed at the power of the drum yeah, and, and what it does for them. So, I, And I think right now, too, just the connection to the earth that comes from the drum and from those frequencies. So I, I again, it's a one, of the, one of those, I don't care how many times I may listen to how they do it. I always love hearing it. And when we're in person, so, you know, join us next year in person in Sedona. We hope to be there. We're putting the energy out that we're going to be there. They bring drums. And so you get to actually experience drumming for yourself as part of that presentation. Mm -hmm. That's uh, very fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I think Carolyn Musio, um, one of my, my dear favorite ICRT teachers, is done this presentation a few times, but it always, people keep coming back like, please, you got to talk about this one. You got to talk about it. It's communicating with animals and all of nature. I know the first time that I heard Carolyn do this presentation up in New York, um, I want to say it was in the fall of 2014. It absolutely blew me away. And as part of, of the meditation that she took us through in there, I got an amazing new I don't want to call him a Reiki guide as much as a life guide and a spiritual one, but this amazing black bear came in and he's been with me ever since. So I, um, I, I and I love the way Carolyn presents. She's very, um, very friendly, very easy to listen to and always has uh, amazing information. Yeah. And yeah. it's always different. It's, yes. You know, she's done you know, people ask her to do it again, but it's not like she just is like, oh, I'm just going to repeat what I said last year. It's always new information. So even if you've seen it before, it's well worth uh, joining again. That's a great point because it is, it's always new and fresh because she adds to it or, or tweaks it or, or the animals may give her different information to give up. Yeah. And I'm really sure with COVID where it is right now, again, I'm expecting that to be very new from, from what we've heard before. So yeah. Jay Johnson, who I'm Jay Johnson, sorry, Jay, Jay Jackson, uh, one of our teachers out of Las Vegas, who I absolutely love. His energy is amazing. He's going to be talking about Reiki and crystals. Ray, um, Jay, here I go again. Jay also teaches really cool Reiki and crystal class 
that uh, is just amazingly awesome. Um, for me, anytime I, I hear Jay and he's talking about the crystals, it also takes me back to um, my very first Miss Reiki teacher and mentor, Laurel Gaia, who many of us learned um, crystal classes from Laurel. And uh, Laurel is joining us from heaven now, but anytime Jay talks about that, I feel and I, I see and I hear Laurel's influence as well coming through that information. Yeah, and, and when Jay's talking about crystals, his knowledge about crystals is unparalleled. Like I, I love crystals and I, we teach the crystal Reiki class too. And, um, but, and, but when Jay's talking, there are times that I feel like he thinks, like he sees these crystals like they are little people <laughs> like they're just little Reiki practitioners all doing their thing helping yeah. people so they're little helpers they are little helpers <laughs> yeah he's been a great influence he's amazing too. and so I, I for people listening if some of these uh, several of the presenters also do teach other things that we do than just Reiki uh, so if people resonate, go check out their website, see what else might be of value to you, because many of these classes are also now being taught online as well. So even though you might be in another state, if you're in the USA or another country, you still have an opportunity to get that knowledge. And cool now is you can get the knowledge without having to get a visa or pay for flights or hotels. So I think a lot of what, what's available to be shared now is also more cost effective for people. And that way as practitioners, we all get to up our game. We get to learn more so that the people that we share Reiki with are going to benefit from that. The animals that we share Reiki with are going to benefit. Right. And the more that we, the more that we know, um, the more that people um, get the benefit of that, like, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you like to tell everybody everything anyway, so it's perfect. Careful. Oh. <laughs> One of the fun talks, which people <laughs> think is going to be over the, I don't know, I've had people go science and Reiki, really? But I found as I've talked to more people in the, because I do a lot of work in corporate, having science, having statistics, and being able to explain Reiki without the woo-woo can really help with mainstream acceptance. So one of the really cool talks that I, I can't wait to hear about is um, Dr. Ann Baldwin. I used to call her Dr. Ann. Um, she works with us at the Center for Reiki Research. And she's going to be giving some up-to-date with Reiki science. And, I, and Dr. Ann even has written a book about this. And I love because, again, as a practitioner, if you're trying to get into a corporate space, an education space, or healthcare space, you need statistics. You need some science. You need to take the woo-woo out of Reiki. And so she gives tools and information that really does help. Um, and her book is amazing. It's called Reiki in Clinical Practice. Um, I do know there are other Reiki practitioners out in the world that are using um, Reiki regularly in those clinical settings. And I always love when I get a chance to talk to them and see what they're doing and how Reiki is actually helping. Uh, it's just amazing. I have, Staying in our healthcare tune, um, Tracy Sullivan is going to be talking about Reiki in healthcare. So it's kind of fun. We've got Dr. Ann that's going to be talking about it. I'm going to be talking about it as it relates to chronic conditions and life threatening conditions. Tracy's going to be talking about it. Is she actually works in hospitals? She works in nuclear medicine. Um, for those who don't know what nuclear medicine is, those are the folks that make you radioactive for some of your tests. So I am fascinated to see what Reiki, um, sorry, Tracy will be sharing about how Reiki is helping her. I know when talking to her a couple of times, um, just regular discussion, she has blown me away with her information. And it's not just where she works um, up at Yale New Haven, but also because she has been involved with the VA and I think who could use Reiki more in our, our world than our veterans. So I would love to hear how she's hopefully going to be able to share that uh, and some information there as well. 
So in addition to all our wonderful presentations, which are gonna run probably anywhere from about hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half, sprinkled throughout the weekend are gonna be some really cool Q and A's and those run about half an hour. So it's an opportunity to have some really fun um, discussion and continue to learn a little bit more. Uh, so Jules is gonna be doing Wakening Your, uh, your Intuition. So I think many people that I talk to and in classes, they ask that question often. What, how can I wake up my intuition? How can I make my intuition stronger? So that'll be a fun discussion with Jules. Uh, Lisa Starana is gonna be talking about Reiki and the root chakra. Um, I, I'm giggling about that because I'll say since COVID hit, that has become the chakra that in my practice, everybody's getting extra work in because of how the root is affected and how people are living in fight or flight and, and how they're just, every, everything's instinct since COVID hit. So I, I um, and I've heard some great things about her chakra workshops. So I'm really excited to see. That's one I know I'll be hopping in for sure. And then uh, Pam Allen LeBlanc, for those who figuring out how to lead, maybe you want to help the Reiki community and you don't know how, Pam's going to be talking about how you can create a mentor group. Uh, many of us already that are Reiki practitioners, and I know many of the teachers within ICRT, we actually have mentoring groups. Some of us have groups for our students. Others have groups that are open for everybody. And I really have seen uh, since COVID, it's exploded because people are looking for connection. So for those who are maybe, and, and you don't have to be a Reiki master to lead a group to create a connection group or a Reiki share. So all you really need is Zoom. And you can get that Zoom account for free. You can't be free. And so it's a great way to also begin to connect with other Reiki practitioners and other places. And I know that's one of the things I've loved about the mentoring groups that I lead. It's given me just great opportunity to be able to connect with other people, hear about things that they've learned, uh, tips and techniques that they're using. So I think when we approach something like this, everybody wins. Right. And another big one, um, I think that's going to be a real exciting one, is Reiki and social media. I am absolutely um, digging on where that's going to go. I know I, I'd be lost without my social media team, and I'm so grateful for them every single day, but I can't wait to see how they're going to share, because we think of Reiki often as a healing art, um, and we, at least I know when I started, the idea of salesy or marketing, it felt slimy to me, it felt sleazy to me, um, it's, to me, it's a necessary evil with what we do. So I'm excited to see how they're going to be sharing with what we can do with our Reiki practices and social media. Yeah, and and what I have what I've noticed over the last couple of years with the social the ICRT official page, there um, it doesn't feel slimy. It doesn't feel salesy. It's like sharing Reiki on a whole nother level, a whole nother platform, um, a way to get Reiki out to people who might not have otherwise heard of it. Like, you know, everybody gets to Reiki in a different way and um, having, you know, social media is such an important uh, feature for so many people uh, in their lives. I mean, especially if you're under, I don't know, 20. Okay, we have to pause. So I find that as well, that I think what happens, um, with social media especially, is getting in those um, people that might become students or might become practitioners, um, who might just receive sessions, but the under 35 set, and they live on social media. They do so much there. So I think social media has become a great way to reach them uh, and be able to, to just educate them. And it's one of the things I love about the pages is that it's not being approached. And then you said it's not salesy. It's from a perspective of education. And I think that's what's so important. Um, as we both know, you know, in, in the years we've worked with Reiki, there's just so much um, bad stuff and stuff that's Reiki myth that's been written out on the internet. And you know, I love to joke, if it's on the internet, it must be true. 
but it sometimes it's an uphill battle to find accurate, truthful information. And so I like being able to have resources out there that we know are um, going to be giving us good and factual information instead of um, coming at it with an extra grind or instead of sharing information that doesn't have any evidence behind it. And um, the other thing that I've noticed with uh, the ICRT official page is the um, ability to um, like just share, like get um, share with people to be sharing Reiki. Um, you know, for world situations, there'll be a little little. Um, You know, like the uh, world healing or when something happens. Yeah. 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 I like so that. I, I really love that, you know, sending Reiki to whatever is happening. Situations is the mm -hmm. word I'm looking for. Different situations that are happening in the world. Right. And it seems like there's always something happening in the world these days. Yeah. So I think it's always. when we feel helpless sometimes, and I used to tell my mother, I can donate, I can you know, donate money, I can donate my time, I can offer prayers for those who, who pray, I can send Reiki, and I feel like when I'm able to send Reiki, I feel like I'm doing something to help, mm -hmm. and, and I don't feel as helpless, which helps me not feel as stressed either or anxious. So, you know, but, mm -hmm, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, Colleen Benelli, who is one of the other licensed teachers, one of her phrases that I love is, Reiki is her form of activism. And that's so true. And Colleen's also going to be doing an amazing gratitude ceremony as part of the retreat that she does that every year. It's always a little bit different and it's always amazing. Yeah. I think it's another one of those things of I keep looking every day at all the things I have to be grateful for. And that's one of those things for people who feel disconnected um, or they forget a gratitude ceremony really helps bring it all together and remind us just how much we do have to be grateful for. Yeah. So go ahead and hit me with your um, website address or any other information that you want to share. Um, and then we'll have that added at the end as well, but go ahead and put that in the video too. Sure, so it's uh, Inner Compass, I-N-N-E-R, Compass, C-O-M-P-A-S-S, -S, Reiki, R-E-I-K-I.com. -I and, um, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, it's all under the same thing, Inner Compass Reiki. Nice. Yeah. And I am a Reiki place, it's A-R-E-I-K-I-P-L-A-C-E dot com. Um, so Facebook is a Reiki place and uh, Instagram is Bryce Reiki. So you can hit us up there. Um, if you want to learn more about the International Center for Reiki Training, you may join or visit them at reiki.org. And then again, register for this retreat. We absolutely would love to see you. It's reikiretreat.online. The beauty of this as well, you'll pay one fee that gives you admission into every one of the talks. And better yet, these talks are being recorded so you do not have to actively listen to every one of them live. You can pick the ones that you wanna to listen to live. And if you're very busy that weekend and don't have time to catch them all, then you can watch the video replays of all of the others. And that also is gonna give you the opportunity, I think, don't hold me to it, to possibly even download them and have them for future reference. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I do know for sure that you will have access to all of them uh, through the recordings. So if you miss one, you'll be able to go back and listen to it. Or if you participated in one and you really liked it and you want to listen to it again, you can do that too. So thank you guys so much for um, joining me today and thank sharing you. your time and yeah. talent. Great idea. Thank you. I look forward to seeing y'all soon. I can't wait for Reiki and relationships. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, y'all, right. who have listened uh, on our video and uh, check out our, our social media. Come visit us. Ask us your questions, whatever way we can support you. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.